A battle is raging in the high-stakes arena of public opinion, not with weapons, but with words, tragic testimonies, and horrifying videos. Social media has become the new front in the Palestinian struggle, where every story, tweet, or post holds the weight of a narrative long contested and owned by the Western media. From Israeli-imposed blackouts in Gaza, to doxing campaigns against pro-Palestine activists, to shadow banning of Palestinian content on social media, Israel, despite investing billions in beautifying its image, is losing ground in the PR battle, and even its most staunch supporters have testified to this. Over the last few days, Palestinian journalists who have put their life on the line to cover the war have been branded by Israel as a quote Hamas propaganda team. Israeli occupation forces have also been arresting Palestinians for their social media presence. On Sunday, prominent Palestinian rights activist Ahed Tamimi was detained for a photoshopped Instagram story she did not even post. The Israeli authorities have even limited the reach of Israeli captives who have gone on camera to challenge the government's narrative of events. Also, celebrities and influencers are losing brand deals for expressing solidarity with Palestine around the world. Now, former Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett is due to embark on a PR management tour. He said there are 15 times the views of pro-Palestinian slash Hamas content compared to pro-Israeli content on TikTok. According to social media users, the tides are turning. From the catastrophe of 1948 known as the Nakba to the present day, the occupying force has striven to control the narrative. Now, with every post, like, video shared online, they're confronted with a powerful counter-narrative that has appeared to begin dismantling decades of propaganda.